Hello and welcome to Cap Tips. In this video, we're going to look at how to set up a route search with offset on the Garmin G1000. I'm your host, Joshua Edwards, and this video is a production from California Wing Group 2. A route search is typically one of the first aerial missions we fly when we're looking for a missing aircraft. Sometimes this is called a hasty search. This is accomplished by retracing the steps that the missing aircraft likely flew, either from an expected course or from the filed flight plan. We want to fly the route with an offset some distance to the left or right of the actual aircraft's route so that the mission observer and mission scanner can look at the route flown by the missing aircraft and determine if there are any clues along that. To make this simple, the Garmin G1000 features a parallel track feature that makes setting up and flying these routes very simple. We begin by entering a flight plan to the G1000 that reflects the missing aircraft's actual route of flight. Here we can see that route depicted on the G1000 map. With the flight plan window still open, hit the menu button to bring up the page menu and then scroll down till the parallel track feature is highlighted. Hit enter. This will bring up the menu for creating a parallel track. We have to answer two questions. First, we have to decide whether we want to fly onto the left or to the right of the missing aircraft's track. If we fly on the left side, it'll be on the mission observer's side. If we fly it to the right of the missing aircraft's track, the mission scanner will be looking at the actual track. Note the green arrow. This will tell you who will be looking out at the actual aircraft's track. Next, we have to decide how far offset we want to be from the actual aircraft's course. We can choose at a minimum of one nautical mile up to 50 nautical miles. After you've made your selection, hit enter and then enter again to activate the parallel track. This returns us to the flight plan, and we can see that all the waypoints have been updated with a dash P indicating a parallel route has been created. We can also see that the inset map has been updated as well to reflect the parallel route. Shown here in a larger view, we can see that the original route we entered into the flight plan is now depicted in gray. The parallel route is shown next to it in magenta and white. Course guidance will now be provided for the parallel route, including queuing on the MFD and PFD. Now let's talk a little bit about doing a route search with offset. So a couple different ways to do this. You can go ahead and plug in your, your course. In this case, you can see it's the magenta line in the GPS. And then you can fly the offset using the cross track function. There's another way that's actually quite simple. What we can do is go into our flight plan. We can see that it's a route from Oakland, California to Redding, California. We can hit the menu key. And we can use the large knob of the FMS to scroll down here to parallel track. Hit enter and we can see that this brings up a parallel track function. Now if we want to put the, the route of the missing aircraft on the, side of the, on the scanner side of the airplane, we can select right side, and then if we, we can choose our distance or our offset from the original route. One nautical mile is the smallest you can go, so in this case we, we're going to choose to go two nautical miles, and we're going to hit enter, and we're going to hit enter again. And now we can see two things happen. In the flight plan, we can see the dash P, which tells us that in fact that there's a parallel route that's being happen that's going to be used here. And if we hit clear, we bring up the route. So let's go ahead and zoom in here. We can see two things. So the original route of the airplane is represented, the original route is represented as this white line here. And in fact, if we zoom out enough, we can see that white line goes all the way up the, the route here. And we can see the magenta line, which is our offset, where we're actually going to fly to be off the, uh, the original track of the other aircraft is just to the right of that. And so the mission scanner can now look out to the, the left side of the airplane and you can see here that's Oakland with dash P which is offset by two nautical miles as we requested. And there you have how to set up a route search with offset on the G1000. Now if any point you need to make changes or get rid of the parallel route that you've created just go back into the parallel track function in the flight plan menu, hit cancel parallel route, and you can go ahead and make changes or clear it out entirely. And that's all there is to set up a parallel route with offset on the G1000. Check out the comment section below for some handy reference materials and take a look at some of the other videos we've put on this channel on YouTube. Thanks for watching.